All right, guys, like I explained in my previous video, um, if you haven't seen that video, go and have a look at it. But there's different theories about, um, you know, what's what's happening with the Mandela effect. Now, in my previous video, I, I um, made an example of, about a cup of coffee, which represents a universe and next to another universe, next to another universe. They are all identical, exactly the same amount of sugar and milk and coffee in every cup. But <clears throat> as all of, all of us know that that cup is not that cup. Although it's, uh, it looks the same and it tastes the same and everything, that cup cannot be that cup. So what's happening is <clears throat> we've got all these parallel universes that are the same but not the same. They are the same but almost the same. So if you think about it, if that's our universe, right, or our reality, and it's 20 July 2000, 2016, in this reality, in my other video, <coughs> I said that every one of these parallel Earths have got a different time that they are in. So we might be in 20 July 2016, and this uni universe here might be in 1987, and this one in, um, in 1645. Okay, but in this example, we're going to assume that all these parallel universes has got exactly the same date with subtle small differences. Okay, we're going to assume that. So that's 20 July, that's 20 July. And now CERN goes and they create with a particle collider. Now CERN go and they, um, with a particle collider, they create a wormhole uh, there. Okay, so they create a wormhole there in every universe at the same time. All of these universes have got CERNs and particle colliders and all of them at the same time create these... Um, these wormholes. Okay, so what's going to start happening? And I'm going to pause this video now. Let me just put in all of these. Okay, so in every universe, CERN is experimenting and they are creating wormholes. And what happens if you create a wormhole from the one um, Earth to the next Earth to the one dimension to the next dimension? They get linked. Okay, so there's a little wormhole. On every earth, the wormhole gets opened, and what is starting to happen is information, space time, is starting to leak through. Just as though you were joining these cups of coffee, creating a tunnel in between them, and the coffee would start mixing. Not all, all of it at once, it's a small wormhole. So small amounts of information in space-time leak through and mixes with this world here. Okay. And this is now where you get the Mandela effect, where information from this and this and this and this universe gets mixed up and gets mixed up with ours. This is why, now, I don't know, memories, um, it, it, gets, it gets difficult. I mean, people are remembering something wrong. So there might be more than just information leaking through. Um, some people are not remembering, other people are remembering. So what I think is, I think our world has stayed the same. Information from other parallel universes leak through. We remember the old world, but um, the history of this world got mixed up with the history of that world, and the history has changed. Okay. This is what I think um, happens with the Mandela effect.
So in this this universe, uh, in this world, Nelson Mandela died in 1980. In ours, he died 2013. Um, got mixed up somehow. And history tells us that it's, it's, a, it's a complicated thing because people do remember him dying. So if there's people in this universe that remember Nelson Mandela dying in 1980, it means that not only information has leaked through, but actual reality, actual memories, actual people from this universe got mixed up with people from this universe. Actual people. It's like, instead of it leaking through, it's like it got overlaid somehow. And some, um, some information, well, like there's only enough space for so much information. Some of it disappeared or some of it went over to this universe. But imagine another universe there saying, listen, the world has changed like we were talking now. So listen, the actual earth, the, the geography of the earth have, have changed. And they're sitting with ours, what we remember. And these guys are sitting with some of them. And it's a whole mixture of, of different realities that got mixed up through this little wormhole. And maybe overlaid. Because if you look at that first video I made with the VW sign, I've got a VW that is split. I've got a VW that I definitely remember. And in that video, there's a VW sign that actually that I've never seen. It's got a little V on top. So it actually means then that it might be a VW from this universe. The one that I, uh, the, the, the one that I have never seen might be from this universe where I am now, which is split that I don't remember and the VW from this universe. So it might be three universes that if that have, you know, overlapped. And because the VW that I see, the sign is not information, it's not history, it's not digital, it's not on a computer, what? It's there physically. I can see the split one, I remember the other one, and I've got this new VW sign that I've never seen. So, it's quite amazing what's happening here. I don't know. Now, if you think about it, I'll make another video with another um, theory. Um, the time travel theory, which might, I don't know, it won't, it won't explain the VW phenomenon, but it will, um, it will be interesting. So check my first one, where all of these dates are not the same. Check this one, <clears throat> where all of my dates are the same. And I'll make another one, but it won't be a cup of coffee. It will be a river, a river-like simulation with time travel and all of that. And um, tell me what you think about this. Is every universe, you know, are all these universes mixing? Have all of them got a sun and a particle collider and are all of them creating a wormhole at exactly the same time in every universe and information is now leaking through all of these wormholes into each other? And is this a beginning of us starting to discover that, listen, we are not alone, not in the way that we thought, aliens or whatever, but there might be a million or a billion of me in other universes making slightly different decisions, um, creating a universe like a cup of coffee, which is almost the same, but not exactly the same. So guys, yeah, in my next video.